Hey everybody, it's Let Your Life Shine. I got Steve-O. We got the dogs this time. Oh That's right. Yes, you do. Let's hope for the best on this situation. Uh, ooh, there's a nice view right there I'm going to show you. We're here at Cactus Run Park here in Henderson, Nevada. We haven't been here before. I only wanted to check it out for the name itself. Actually, it's a pretty cool park. So uh, let's walk around and show you. So just to get an idea, here is the beautiful view and some big houses over here, Cactus Wren Estates. Wow, maybe we'll see a wren. They're devoting this whole thing for it, so. So parking's right here, and then right away you go walk into a nice little playground with some, once again, shaded benches, and you've got yourself a basketball court as well. And as usual, the park is nice and clean, as almost every park that we have visited so far out here in Henderson. The restrooms are right here as well, so that's good to know. And they also have some baseball fields. In case you forgot to bring them, they do have little doggy bags to clean up after your pup, so that's good to know. Oh, and it does say they shall be restrained and controlled by a leash no longer than six feet. So uh, keep your dogs leashed, even if they're good, I guess. Savannah is a pretty good dog, but uh, it's probably the best idea, just in case another dog comes around you don't want to have any issues here all right so here you are a uh, baseball field wow. grass is a little on the non-green side at the moment and I see up ahead uh, looks like a pedestrian bridge of some sort so that'd be kind of cool to check out and so here's more of the playground looks like there's a swing set area as well it looks like a bridge over there as well all right, so we were trying to figure out where to walk because over here, it looks like there is a dog park. So, cool. All right, so here's the other part of the playground here. You got a little, I don't know what that is, a rock wall of some sort, some swings. And Steve-O, would you say the bathrooms were decent? Yeah. Okay. Decent. Not disgusting? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> there was this one. <laughs> that's, that's, probably that's a good sign if you didn't gag. I have a gag reflex, so. <laughs> there was this one time, a long time ago. Sorry. Let me go ahead of you because Steve-O's like... I'm just trying to deal with Noggins this. in the view. Long time something. ago, we were... Not me and Steve. I was with some other people uh, at Dodger Stadium. I forgot if it was... Probably just to see a game, not a concert. And there was a porta potty at this little park that we were like kind of enjoying beverages and I didn't go but the guy one of the guys that was part of the group he literally threw up when he got out it was so disgusting he said it was the uh, porta potty of hell so uh okay Jovers I need to get around you I just Sorry. wanted to check this uh bridge. this bridge it looks like this is a little walking trail through the neighborhood so we I think I saw this actually when we were doing our drive tour over here that was like the beginning or part of it so very pleasant if there's water and it rains, there you go. There's the wash. Okay, so then there's more of a walkway over here. So I thought I would take it and it will bring us over to that area that I think is a dog park and that bridge. Okay, so it's not open for the moment, but there is a little skate park right here for skateboards. I do recall seeing that on the map when I was checking this park out. So that's cool. I'm really impressed again with a lot of these parks. They always seem to have some really cool recreational things, plus a dog park. Back in California, I don't recall any of those parks having dog parks. And uh, I lived in Orange County. I, a lot of the regional parks were nice, but they didn't have the, these cool things like that. So I'm rather impressed. I'm rather impressed with Henderson, to be honest with you, because I really never knew much about this area. I never really thought I'd ever live in Nevada. And so I really had no expectations coming in, and I'm like, wow, this is, like, pretty amazing. They don't hype it up, which I guess is a good thing. You don't want this place to be overcrowded. But it's, well, you can see it. It's spectacular. Look at these homes. Holy cow. Hello. 
Good to be you, huh? Although I'm very happy with my home, so that's just fine by me. The bigger the home, the more the work. I have a friend who, whose parents have like an 8,800 square foot home. I was cleaning that back in uh, Orange County and uh, it, you almost needed a house manager to manage it, geez. It's pretty though. Alrighty. So, so there you go. I got nothing at the moment. It looks like though this trail extends out here and you could choose to do the bridge thing so but let's peruse this little doggy park maybe let the dogs run free for a hot second now Savannah is a good dog let me turn around and get him Savannah's is a good dog and she is well without a leash but uh and there she goes she sticks with me. Now, Joby, on the other hand, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> Joby's a chihuahua. He's a chihuahua. What do you expect? He's got chihuahua mentality. <laughs> They're cute dogs, but oh my gosh. Anybody own a chihuahua? You know what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh. He is high maintenance. <laughs> but we love him. Okay, you got a couple rules. You don't want them to dig holes inside the dog park. Dark, but nah, that. Irrigation Wednesday, 10 a.m. I all right, well, anyway, so, of course, the large dog area is way cooler <laughs> than the small dog area. Oh, that's an all-dog area. Oh, okay, here it is. Recommended small dog, large dog, and then all-dog. <laughs> the all-dog one is, is kind of small. Maybe the large one is pretty good size. Small one is, eh, smaller the dog, the less it needs to run. I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's go inside and free the pups. All right, well, the dogs are having fun sniffing around, checking out former pup scents, I guess. Just thought I would show you the whole area. And again, we're here, I don't know if I said that again, I think I did on the drive tour. We're here on a Thursday late morning, so this is what it looks like. Kids are in school right now, so I don't know how busy it gets during, probably not during the summer either because it's so hot, so. But we're the only people here at the moment, so that's kind of nice. As long as I was sitting there, I'd be productive. And while you're being productive sitting there, we are going to uh, take this pedestrian bridge. I don't know if there's an entrance over there. But this is a bike path right here that we are on. And some dude just rode his bike up that, but I think it was an electric bike. Because <laughs> he just cut up there really quick. So yeah, that's just cool. And that's the freeway right there. All right, on we go to this longest ramp in the world. Holy moly. All right, ramp part two. So weird, the freeway looks so open. Like, Normally there's like a barrier. It's so weird to see it so like where you can just jump right in there. Like anyway, Steve and the dogs are ahead of me. And uh, ahead of them is a spectacular view of Vegas. Look at that. When I get to the top over here, I'll uh, I'll show you more, but that is awesome. I can never get tired of see Vegas. I'm always starstruck that we live here. I know, it's kind of dorky, I know. All right, we're at the top, pardon the wind. It's a little windy up top. Um, yeah, there's Vegas, guys, so that's pretty amazing. Look at this beautiful overlooking red rock over here. So, uh, yeah. So let's, um, I just want to cross over here and see where exactly it takes us, out of curiosity. I'm sure it's just to another neighborhood. Wow, there's like a 
gap between uh, cars right here. It was so quiet all of a sudden. Gosh, I'm having a deja vu moment again. I remember the bridge back in Anaheim, California, where you take this little bridge over the 57 freeway to Pioneer Park, but it's it was so nasty looking. Like This is so clean and pretty. <laughs> like, whoa. It's always like smells of pee and, you know, trash everywhere and graffiti. It's like, why, why do we have to do that? I don't get it. So this is a nice community of homes. They look like some pretty decent looking homes, size homes. Maybe they're duplexes or something. Yeah, maybe, because it looks like there's like two patios attached. So it's probably condos maybe or townhomes. So, but nice and clean, real nice. And even though it's by the freeway, they do have this wall here. So I'm sure it's not very loud and windy down below. So anyway, looks like that's where it takes us is right here. All right, guys. So now we're going to go back down the ramp and we're going to walk behind the park on the other side of the skate park. And then we'll be done because I will have covered the whole entire park here. It's also pleasant not having to wear our masks right now. There's not a lot of people in this park. I do have my mask in my pocket though, just in case, but oh, it's nice to be able to breathe. So it'll be nice when uh, we can stop having to wear our masks and go back to our normal life again. But I will play by the rules as I don't want to cause any problems. Anyway, so back down we go. We're gonna go towards that way. All right, back on the bike trail. Heading this way. There looks to be a trash can rest spot and a doggy bag section as well. So, And I'm not sure if you can access the park from over here if you have to walk back to where we came from, from the ramp of this uh, pedestrian walkway to get back into the park. Um, something tells me you can if I keep walking towards that bridge because that is an entrance back into the park. So maybe I'll just do it that way. The one thing I want to make note again is, is this freeway has no barrier. You can literally just walk right on there. So if you have a little kid or a runaway dog like a chihuahua named Joby, uh, keep them uh, next to you because that's kind of scary. Yeah, I thought we were safe because no one was around. No, that's... No, I it's all good. It's all good. All right, so now I see a bridge. So there's two different ways to go. Which way do we go? Well, that way will take us. Well, let's see, where is this? Or is this dead end right here? There's no two ways, there's only one way. That was an illusion, that's what that was about. All right, cause I'm a crazy person. I'm standing on the other side of this bridge because there was a geocache. I didn't want to like go, hey, I'm gonna go look for a geocache and can't find it. So I thought I'd wait till I actually found it. But if you can see it, Steve's hand's blocking it. It's right behind that pole right there. Oh, it's down in the crevice? Yeah, in I the can't. crevice. I can't. So I'm going to have to try. You're going to have to. I'll get it. I'm going to go back around and grab it. So stand right there so I know which pole to go to. All righty then. The usual Altoids 10, the famous Altoids 10. Looks like they had some tape on there. So most likely it's just a log book with maybe a little swag. Let me check it. Yeah, it looks like a... A couple things. What do you guys think? You're like, I don't care. What are we doing anyway? I, I, do, I really don't care. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like that trail keeps going behind the homes over here by the freeway. And we're trying to figure out how to get back into the park because I thought we could get to that bridge right there, that one right there, but there is no entrance. So. <laughs> looks like we're gonna have to walk back by this ramp over here in order to get back into the park so um, oh well no big deal it was worth I it was worth it for the cash do it for the cash there's a skate park on the back side here oh I do see a little graffiti back there that's not cool oh you have done me wrong oh look at that cute little fancy uh, bench there. It's kind of cute. All right, I guess we're gonna have to walk back and then walk through. 
All right, so now we're back this way where the dog park is right over here and we are gonna walk back to the car from the street. So the street uh, sidewalk path or whatever you wanna call it. I think that pretty much covers this whole entire park. What I like about these homes is that they're all different looking. So they must have been customized because there is a neighborhood uh, called the Fountains, also gated, like the Fountains, which every home was customized to however the owner liked it. So every house did look different like this. They're all very nice. All right, so we are gonna be right here where the sign is of the park and then the parking lot. And yeah, this park is definitely hidden. It is nestled in the neighborhoods here in Henderson. Um, we did a drive tour over here, so I would say the main streets, I mean, it wasn't that far from Eastern. Um, I mean, these are little streets, so I don't even really know. Ivan Paul or something like that it's called. I don't think there's a main thoroughfare though, so. Anyway, here is the, here is the address. 2900 Ivan Paul Henderson, Nevada. Cactus Wren Park. And I did not see a cactus or a wren. I just saw a park. That's fine. So, in conclusion, this is a great park. It's very peaceful. Highly recommend it if you're in the neighborhood to come check it out. Take a nice little walk. Let your kids play on the playground. Bring you do dogs. you. Bring your dogs. If they're well behaved. If you have a chihuahua. Think twice. No, I'm just kidding. Keep your chihuahua leashed up like Joby here. <laughs> or he'll start wandering as he does. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, everybody.